Bracha. It's another Friday. Emma is Friday means that this is the day that we're being fried at? More or less. More or less. So my uh, my wife. amazing wife. No, you're not just a wife. wife. You're my wife. You know what it means. You're the only wife I have in my world. So my unique and wonderful and special wife she's making something that is called burekas and turkey turkish burekas and uh, what boyos boyos so many names have a lot of names a lot of names for one food and um, and that's it it's uh, it can be filled with cheese and with uh, spinach and um, other and with a lot of other things and she's taking off her uh, rings when she's making it only not to tear the because she doesn't want to tear the dough more, the dough. more that it is already they're already hungry I think Israel are you already hungry as well mm, no not yet what's no. going on with you how are you good yes, yes. very happy very happy. So, um, here is the cheese, and here is almost the result. You see, they're very, very nice. So they're gonna be get into the stove, oven, oven, no stove, oven. And Baruch Hashem, except of the wonderful food that we're enjoying Shabbat, kids are learning. Shalom Ephraim, what are you learning? Oh, I see. Oh, Shlomo. What? I saw you were learning. What were you learning here? Oh, show us what are you learning. He's learning halakha. Yes. <laughs> He's learning halakha. Shlomo, you're very sweet. Au revoir. What's going on with you? What did you learn today? I learned math. I learned I learned Mishnayot, I learned Halakha, wow. I learned Tikkun Aklali, and it's not so long, it just sounds long. This is Tikkun Aklali that Israel is reading. I'm illustrated for children, illustrated by me and my wife. Why did I say me and my wife and I didn't say my wife and I? Because that mainly I was sitting on those books and my wife, she would come once in a few hours to fix and correct my mistakes to help me so oh Ivey, you see what's that Israel? we just learned on that topic, the destruction of the temple Korban Beit HaMikdash you remember? yes King David, the poet. Wonderful. Oh, Abraham, maybe soon you're going to teach us something. And Nachman and Yosef, what are you up to? What are you doing? Um, What's yeah, that? God. The conversation of angels. And what is it telling? What What did you learn? Um, hmm? Nachman, I started. Oh, you just started? What is that book about? Stories on righteous people? Yes. yes, it's fantastic. We love stories on righteous ones. And Yosef Tzadik, learning math. What are you learning in math? Mm, Those sorry. are hard drills to make, to do, to solve. Uh, a little. A little hard. But you're able to do that, right? Look at us. Let us see your angel face. How are you doing? Good. Good. We love you, Yosef. You're doing amazing. So great. And I am just walking uh, here in the house with the camera, fixing myself, trying to. Shalom Israel, how are you? I'll show you something nice. Here you see. Those are new pictures that we hanged in the house. Friendly pictures. Wow, there is too much light. What I'm gonna do, we'll see. Maybe like that. 
Here, that's in the first days that we came to Brooklyn one year ago. We were jumping in the streets of Brooklyn. And my wife playing mini golf in... Uh, where was it, Emma? In Los Angeles. What was the name of this place, you remember? Close to the Balboa Park, yes, and 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 kids in Miami with my wife in Purim. We've been in Miami in Purim. Wow, that was a nice Purim, right, Ima? Very nice. <laughs> Very nice Purim. You can never imagine that Purim. That Purim was fantastic. In that Purim, we did everything we could. To make that Purim exist and Hashem also did everything he could <laughs> to destroy our Purim but in the end I think many friends came to our house we were stuck in uh, what was the name of the area over there North Miami Beach and we were there in North Miami Beach and it was rainy Miami rain and we didn't know what to do with ourselves because we didn't have um, like, you know, United States of America is a gigantic place. So you want to do something and, uh, and you check on ways how much time it's going to take you to go from one place to the other. And usually Waze is showing two hours, two hours and a half. So we wanted to go and give Mishlochem a note to, to our friends, but uh, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't a possible thing to, to be done. So we had to pray that we'll have enough people to give out Mishlochem not to. And then a group of people came to our house, friends of us. Adami came, and uh, Michael came, and Simcha came, and more and more people. And, uh, and in the end, we didn't know what to do with ourselves. We were stuck with uh, one Mishloch Manot that we didn't give you need to give two for, for, two, for, two for every person. You need to give four for every person. Two gifts and two kinds of food for every person. So we are four adults. We are, so it's like four times four. We had to give out 16 and matanot leivyonim. And we didn't have enough people around us back then, so the last ones we just went out to the street and the street. and we wait for Jewish people to 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 we drive to with kippa. We went to the Chabad. And it was rainy. It was such a rain. And so, like ten minutes before of shkia, before of sunset, we set to eat and to eat our suda for uh, for Purim. But uh, like you saw in the picture, at least we were smiling during this uh, time, crying and smiling, crying and smiling, like Hashem. On Hashem it's written also that He is crying and smiling in the same time. I think that people many, many times misinterpret Hashem and cannot understand how loving He is. Because people see the judgments, people see the problems, see the, people see all the constrictions and difficulties that we're experiencing in life. And, um, and, and the pain is so, so hard, so painful, penetrating and, and hurt, that we're asking ourselves why? Why in the world Hashem, the Creator, is doing it to us? Why, why the supervision is so hard and so tight sometimes that we don't know what to do. So, Muhammad, I promise to pray for you. My friend Muhammad is asking me to pray for him. Muhammad, I promise to pray for you. I'll dedicate special time to pray for you today. And you'll tell us good news tomorrow, Bezat Hashem. So, from heaven, they told me this simple thing and it's very important that we will understand the Creator he is not flesh and bones he's not physical and still he created us in his shape and it cannot be that the shape that he 
gave us that he created us is similar to him in physicality because he's above physicality the f the but he did created us in his shape in his tselem tselem elokim so that tselem is our soul it's our spirit it's our emotions and the creator himself he has those emotions as well and it's like a joke to say but so to speak we're saying the creator is also human he's also have feelings and emotions and there are many verses and many ancient scripts that are describing the feelings and the and the holy desires and goodwill of the creator that he is above this world but still he has a heart he's the heart of the world so he is also very offended and he's also very hurt and he's also very alone and also very very broken and it's true that we feel that sometimes that he rejected us and that he kicked us and that he's not accepting our prayers but um but i think that it's not the truth i think that the real truth is that we need to wake up the creator and to call him to come back to us and to sit with us in shabbat and to eat burakasim and to be happy with us and to spend more time with us if there are wars and if there are arguments and if there are all of the time bad words being said by people and fights and and hatred all around so no one wants to spend time in a house like that in a place like that no one so the creator he just he ran away because of because of all the sorrow because of all the pain but when we are coming back together to be good and kind and nice come here israel natan when we're coming back together to be nice and to smile and to be friendly so the Creator Himself, He wants to join us again and to reveal His unconditional love to us. Israel Nathan, what? some positive word before of Shabbat to our billion friends on the net. Mm, yes. Please, please, what? That uh, in Shabbat we can touch Mokse. Right, you cannot touch Mokse uh, in Shabbat. What is Mokse? Can you explain uh, what Mokse is? Toys on battery or electricity that are making noise or yeah. all other things that are being used for regular days of the week so we're not touching them on Shabbat, right? Right. And what your mother, she's doing? Mm. Making another burekas? Yes. Do you like spinach? Yes. Why? Because you like Popeye? Yes. You know what Popeye was? No. He was a sailor man. He was sailing in his boat. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> he was. Okay, Yosef, Shabbat Shalom. Have a wonderful Shabbat. Or Abraham, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom Ephraim, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Humble wife, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Humble Nachman, Shabbat Shalom. And I'm with you. Shabbat Shalom. Blessing you. Praying for you. And, uh, and especially for you, Muhammad. We're praying for you. All good things will happen to you and to all of your beloved ones. And to all of our people, to all of our friends, may this Shabbat will be a wonderful, inspiring and holy Shabbat that will bring us to the heights, to wonderful places of complete joy and satisfaction from life. Amen. Can you hear us Amen. If you enjoy this video very much, please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.